G'day guys, my name is Jaden. welcome back to another trip report. We're in Amsterdam at the moment. In a moment, I'm gonna catch a train right there to Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. We're gonna fly Iceland Air today from here to Keflavik on their 7379 MAX, MAX 9. So now without further ado, let's check out from this hotel and head to the airport. That's the hotel I stayed in for the past two nights, Hampton Inn. So now we're going to catch a train from here, two stops to Schiphol Airport, takes about 15 minutes, really convenient. Schiphol Airport today is hustling and bustling, people mountain, people sea. There's only one terminal at this airport. Check-in is split into several departure halls. You'll find Iceland Air in departure hall number one. Iceland is not a member of the EU or European Union, but for travel purposes, it is in the Schengen area. So there's no immigration when you travel from Europe, including Amsterdam, to Iceland. Here's the check-in for Iceland Air as well as Finnair, TAP Portugal and Transavia. Self-checking counters and backdrop machines are plentiful. You may also head to the check-in desk if you don't want to do things yourself. The four airlines share those counters, but the queue is short. This bag tag is the coolest I've ever seen. You don't need to peel anything, just put it on. Voila, you're done. Security was quick and easy. We got through within five minutes. And again, there's no immigration when you travel from Amsterdam to Iceland. We're in economy today and we don't have membership for Iceland Air, so we don't have lounge access. We'll check out one of the food courts at Amsterdam Schiphol. So we got a burger meal and a individual burger that cost us about 24 euros. On Iceland Air, they don't serve free food, so it's better to eat before. From the food court, you've got an amazing tarmac view, including an active runway. Before long, it's time to head to our gate for our flight to Reykjavik. That's a Play Airlines Airbus A321neo, also heading for Reykjavik. Then further down, you'll find an Iceland Air Boeing 737 MAX 8 and a MAX 9, both heading to Reykjavik 30 minutes apart. The MAX 8 will depart first, followed by my flight MAX 9, flight number FI501. The gate agent insists on everybody to check in their cabin baggage. I've got a tote bag and a backpack and she wanted me to check in my backpack as well. I really didn't want to because I got essential items in there, including a power bank, which you can't check in anyway. I told her that I'll put both underneath the seat in front of me, then she let me proceed. Welcome on board Iceland Air Max 9. This is Saga Premium, basically their business class in a 2-2 configuration. Here's my seat today, 23A, and I'll quickly go through the seat features. You've got a 4K TV with a USB port and headphone jack, a small tray table, you can move it back and forth but you can't fold it, a standard seat pocket, leg room is okay, surprisingly. Here's my wing view today, sadly a very scratched window. Not only that, there's also dirty used tissue inside the seat pocket. Finally, every economy seat comes with a generous recline and a comfortable headrest. The seat itself is quite high, so so is the headrest. Therefore, it's perfect for 6 foot 4 and other Dutch passengers on board. Now, if anyone could explain, that would be great. I just don't understand why did the ground staff insist on checking in all the cabin baggage. They were super insistent. Initially, I thought because of the short delay, they wanted everybody to board quickly without blocking the aisle. But what happened was they made 70% of the plane to check in at the boarding gate. So the passengers, including 6 foot 4, had to wait at the boarding gate until they received a bag tag and bag tag receipt. That alone caused a delay. Then I thought maybe the overlocker bins were going to be full, but not at all. All of them were quite empty at the end. There was more than enough space to place my backpack in the bin and not on the floor. 
As soon as that's uh, finished, we'll be taxiing to the news, taking off today to the southwest with the right turn, of course. So there's the flying time is 2 hours and 45 minutes, and we expect good weather conditions on route. If you want to monitor the progress of the flight, you can do so on the monitor in the seat back in front of you. Before we land in Cape Lake, uh, I'll tell you about the weather upon arrival, but in the meantime, we hope that you will enjoy the flight with us and the service aboard. My name is Hilda Indersen, and I'm the supervisor on this flight. Our passengers have been placed in the over compartment or secured at the seat of the on this short European flight, they provide you with a pillow on request, which I think is a nice touch. Do note that there is a USB port, but there's no power socket, so you can charge your phone but not your laptop. There are two things that I think that make Iceland Air stand out from the rest of the European airlines, and that is the TV on short haul planes and also the real business class product. The TV screen is 4K, you can track your plane, there are plenty of movies and TV shows to choose from. The flight from Amsterdam to Reykjavik isn't that long, but it's enough for a movie. We're now pushing back about 10 minutes late. The Max 8 flight was supposed to leave 40 minutes ago, they're still at the gate. Eventually they left 5 minutes after us. British Airways has a fleet of Embraer, they don't fly from Heathrow or Gatwick, but rather they fly from London City Airport to key European hubs like Zurich, Paris Orly and Amsterdam. I flew BA from London City to Paris Orly several years ago and I have that video on YouTube, do check it out if you're interested, I'll have the link in the description. 6 foot 4 and I were super gutted when we saw our plane at the gate. Originally we booked to fly the 757-300. And for the return flight to London Heathrow, we booked 767 and we got MAX 8. We asked the airline for the return flight if we could switch it to the later flight which is still a 75 and they said no. Money down the drain literally. If it wasn't for the 75 or 76, we would have booked BA, Transavia or Play Airlines which were all a lot cheaper. Oh well, we both haven't been to Iceland and we couldn't wait to be there. Goodbye Amsterdam, it's a lovely city and I can't wait to revisit. This was my first time visiting Amsterdam. Passengers, in a moment we will start our in-flight service. Information on today's selection and special offers can be found on the menu on the seat pocket in front of you. We accept all major debit and credit cards and sign points for all purchases on board. And after the in-flight service, we will offer bus tickets from Kaploid Airport to Reykjavik for sale. And we hope you will enjoy the flight with us. On this flight to Reykjavik, coffee, tea, water, juice and soft drinks are free of charge. You'll have to pay for alcohol and snacks. They also sell bus tickets from Keflavik Airport to Reykjavik City for 26 euros one way or 48 two ways. It is very expensive and if you've got more than two people, you're better off to rent a car. The crew served refreshment about 40 minutes after takeoff. It took about 20 minutes for them to reach my row. The Max 9 is a long plane, so it took them a while. I got a black tea and also water. I got myself some Stroop waffles from a local Amsterdam supermarket. From memory, it cost two euros. It's such a delicious snack. I wish they sell them more in Australia and Hong Kong. It's not widely available at all. There's no much 
Six foot four had never ever watched Crazy Rich Asian before. He's gonna watch the whole thing on this flight. The crew will now come around to sell bus tickets and offer another round of water. By the way, there's Wi-Fi on this plane. It's 10 euros for the whole flight. If you've got elite frequent flyer status or you're in business, it's free of charge. Yes, this is captain again. Shortly we'll start this uh, towards Keflavik. We're going to be the land in about uh, just over half an hour. And the weather calls for uh, light which from the east. Good visibility, particularly. And temperature is minus 2 degrees centigrade. We hope that you enjoyed the flight with us this afternoon and hope that you enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. We've started our descent into Keflavik Airport in the Reykjavik region. So I'll quickly conclude this trip port right here, right now. Our journey today starts at Amsterdam, check-in was quick and easy, you can do it yourself or head to the traditional check-in desk. Security today wasn't busy, we went through within 5 minutes. Iceland Air don't serve free food, so it's best to eat before. Prices at the airport wasn't the best either, so even better if you eat before you head to the airport. They serve complimentary soft drinks, coffee, tea and water on this flight. And I thought it was a nice touch that the cabin crew served the water twice on this flight. The economy seats on Iceland Air 737 are rather comfortable. Great back support, generous recline. The room was perfectly fine for me. 644 still had some space to himself. So overall today it was a great journey, other than the fact that they forced everyone to check in everything at the gate, which caused chaos at the gate, and that our aircraft had been changed from 76 and 75 to Max 8 and 9. But unfortunately there was nothing we could do about it. So that's it for the conclusion today. Thank you so much for watching. For your reference, Iceland Air isn't cheap from Amsterdam to Reykjavik. The airfare starts from 195 euros, but it's tricky to find those dates, it's not available every day. For most dates, it starts from 310 euros. And you can see that low cost carriers like Transavia and Play Airlines are significantly cheaper. So that's it for the trip report today, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the approach and landing into Keflavik Airport, and I'll see you later in the vlog after landing. Bye bye.
Information on connecting flights can be found on monitors inside the terminal building. And we hope you enjoyed the flight with us and thank you for choosing Iceland Air and have a pleasant day. Bye-bye. As soon as I landed and I activated roaming, I received a text from the government about hot water supply. Fortunately, the hotel wasn't impacted. 644 and I were stupid. So remember that Max 8 flight that left five minutes after us? We went to that baggage belt instead of ours. Now we're gonna hop on the shuttle to the car rental place. For the next five days, we'll be driving this cute little Romanian car. From Kevlavik Airport to Reykjavik, it's about a 45 minute drive. Reykjavik itself has an airport, but it's only for domestic operations. We'll be staying at the Hilton here for four nights. Hello, welcome to Hilton in Reykjavik. So Hilton's got a fair few properties here, but the uh, Hilton Hilton brand, there's only one. And we're in that one. Coffee tea. By the way, we got upgraded to King Executive. Uh something room so it's massive it's almost like a suite but not quite junior suite maybe the view stunning of course oh there's there's a us flag right there mountains everywhere and cars 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 the bed wonder what's this for? Extra layers, maybe. And then you've got the bathroom. Very uh, Scandinavian Nordic design. Must be a thing for cold European countries. Bathtub, shower within. So for welcome gift, I got some chocolates and bottles of water. I just cannot get over how beautiful the view is. Don't need to go out la. Just stay here. Spa, swimming pool. Oh, that's the stadium. Apparently there's also the largest geothermal pool somewhere. We should check that out. Iceland is really expensive, so we're going to be having breakfast, lunch and dinner in this hotel. Thankfully, I got Hilton Diamond, so I don't need to pay for anything extra. Welcome to day two. We're just having breakfast in the lobby restaurant. I was wondering why they had vodka shot glasses here. It's for fish oil.
So much snow. <laughs> so our first destination today is the Palan Museum, right ahead. I just can't get over how beautiful this is. We just entered this ice cave, it's currently minus 15 degrees inside but actually feels warmer than outside, it's 0 degrees outside but windy so it felt really harsh. Reykjavik Domestic Airport right here and you've got the city just there, so close. Some people are walking to get here, the Palans, I'm, I'm sure you can walk from the city to the airport as well. Gosh, it was so cold outside at the uh, observation deck. I almost fell over. The supermarkets here are like museums for us. Everything is so expensive, we're not gonna buy anything. We're just here to suss out the prices. Sandwich for 15 Australian dollars or 10 US. Well. 
So that's it for the city tour. For day three and four, we're gonna actually head out to the outback, I suppose. We're back in the room, nice and warm. And I'll now show you the view during the day. Gorgeous. We're having afternoon tea with lots of biscuits. Hilton Reykjavik does the best executive lounge, dinner and soup. They have tempura shrimp, sushi, cheese platter, etc. From a distance, you can see a plane finally approaching into Reykjavik Airport. I like the billboard ads here. It's really smart. Play Airlines is promoting the weather in Tenerife. Definitely really tempting for the locals. We've been away for two weeks now, time to do some laundry. So that's it for the vlog today and to report thank you so much for watching. For day three and day four vlog, I'll make that available soon to my PayPal me, YouTube and Patreon members. So join now and stay tuned. And a big shout out to all my current Patreon and PayPal me supporters for your continuous support. See you next week, bye bye.